Hello, and I wanted to go over a little bit about making the player jump so we can uh, a little bit more gameplay using the framework. Um, so we're going to step into the file for the player, the player class. And we're going to just add inside of the update. Um, let's first actually uh, add a this.jump function. We may not even need the function, but it's nice to work it into the function. And if it's really small and no need for a function, we can work it into the update. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say if input dot w, uh, then we're going to do jump. And jump is going to do actually we're going to do this dot jump. And jump is going to do quite a few checks to uh, one check if the player is. Uh, you know, if it's colliding with anything, the player the player has to be on the ground in order to jump. You don't want them to jump in midair. You don't want to just hold down the button and jump infinitely. So let's go ahead and say, let's add a boolean up here. This dot jump of a I don't know how to spell a v e i l a b l e. But, so the jump is available. And we're going to start off with false because we're starting off falling from the top of the screen. So inside of uh, here, we can check. Uh, here we check if the floor intersects the player's dot rect. So if we intersect with the player dot rect, we can say player dot. I should probably made that easier. Uh, copy jump available is equal to true. So if we're colliding with the floor, we are able to jump. Otherwise. Uh, we're going to say player dot jump available is equal to false. So instead of our jump, we're going to say if this dot jump available, then we're going to um, we we're first going to set a velocity here. Let's say uh, this dot jump velocity uh, is equal to. Let's try some experimental stuff. We'll say 5 or 10 or something like that. So down here we also want to check jump. So um, if we do that, then jump. And uh, let's see here. We need something for if we are jumping. So this dot jumping is equals to true. So setting that to true and we're going to set that this dot jumping is equal to true at the end actually let's start off with false oh well, we can start off with true because it'll be midair um, and we'll put false just to keep it consistent so uh, let's do a check inside of the update if jumping uh, if this this dot jumping then we're going to say uh, instead of doing this, let's also put an else and let's put the gravity, the addition of gravity into the else. Uh, we may find that we need to bring that out in the future. We could say this dot rect dot y uh, plus equals jump velocity plus equals jump velocity and jump velocity 10 may be a little too much so let's say about uh, one or two. We'll try two out. And then we will uh, we'll also create a another con well it would be like a constant so we'll say this dot uh, uh, we'll say we'll call it jump max is equal to two. So jump velocity we're gonna set to zero. And we're also going to go down when we jump we want to set this dot jump velocity equal to this dot jump max. So we will plus equal that, and then we will do a this. Uh, don't forget your this in front of this dot jump velocity. So we'll do this dot jump velocity. We're going to subtract by an arbitrary number at the moment to see how that works out. Um, and then we'll just say if this dot jump velocity is less than or equal to zero then this dot jumping is equal to false. 
We'll see how it turns out. I haven't tested this, and this just came straight out of my head, so uh, it may not work. Uh, so let's uh, first make sure it gets uploaded. This slow connection here I have at my school. There we go. And it's broken. Fantastic. Ah. So. I don't think that I'm used to putting F into numbers for um, for C sharp and other languages, so uh, I'm not sure if that's yeah, that was the problem. Don't put F's inside of JavaScript. Uh, you can see it's jumping, and it's so minimal it's ridiculous. So let's go ahead and instead of point one, let's try point zero one. about as minimal um, so I'm gonna pause the video do a couple calculations because this video will be very long otherwise I'll be right back so I have deduced that uh, I think it's because of the rectangle collision of the floor turning the uh, to setting the players position so uh, what we'll do I've also added this line here inside of the if jump velocity is less than or equal to zero I added the this dot jump available is now equal to true because we're now able to jump again. So uh, let's jump on over. Um, I think that's the only change I made. Uh, so let's jump on over the main. And instead of this, we also want to do uh, and this and not this or player dot jumping. And that may uh, be the case. Hopefully it is because. He went through the floor. So uh, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, one, the issue is we're adding. And remember in screen space, adding to the Y goes down. So what we want to be doing is let's invert this. We want to plus equals zero one. We want to subtract equals this stop velocity or jump velocity. So now that should make us go the correct direction. And you can notice he went ridiculously far. So let's figure out why that was real quick. So uh, actually, uh, don't mind that, actually we need to be minusing here, uh, sorry, because we're minusing the jump velocity and we're already doing a minus here so that was just increasing it. We want to be decreasing it. This still make, make him jump really high. Um, yeah, you can see he's jumping really high now. So let's decrease this to 0 0.1. Let's see how that turns out. Nah, it's probably not going to be half of it. Way less than half, actually. That's a little, a little small for my taste. So let's go ahead and make it about, uh, let's say, 0 0.05. It's still a little bit short. We can go down to 2. That seems like an all right amount. So there you go. Uh, we've just made our Mario jump. And notice you can't jump again while you're in the air. You only jump once you touch the ground. So there you go. That's a quick video tutorial on how to add jumping to your player. Uh, just a little more game concept behind it. Not so much uh, framework work. But people have been asking me to do a few uh, game logic things with the framework. So there you go. Until next time.